Wow, so fascinating. Look, there's something written here about the saints. Yes, it says Saint Dominic Savio. Saint Dominic Savio died at the age of 14 in 1857 when he was canonized a saint in 1954 by the Pope Pius XII. He was the youngest person ever to have been canonized a saint by the Catholic Church without being some sort of martyr. He learned to be an altar boy at age 5 and if he got to church before the priest unlocked the doors in the morning, he would kneel until the priest arrived. Wow, that is so inspiring. And although he looked just like us in this picture, he also inspired a much older and wiser saint in Don Bosco. He is a true inspiration. Look, another saint. What does the detail board say? Who is she? That is Saint Therese of Lisieux. She wanted to join a con convent at a very young age, but the bishop didn't allow her to join. She, they advised her to come back when she was 21 and all grown up. However, Saint Therese's mind was made up. She couldn't bear to wait. She felt God was calling her to enter the cloistered life. Saint Therese was so determined that she travelled to the Vatican to personally petition the Pope. Breaking protocol, she even spoke to the Pope, asking for permission to enter a convent. The Pope told her to do exactly what the superiors decide. But soon after that, her heart's desire was fulfilled and she was able to join her two sisters in the Carmelite convent of Lisieux. Wow, I really admire her obedience. I think that Saint Carlo Acutis. Yes, it is. It says he lived a life of holiness despite only living to age 15. He loved to code and even built a website tracking Eucharistic miracles. Saint Carlo is an example of how to live out holiness in the modern world. He made it a priority to visit Jesus in the tabernacle along with going for confession every week. His mother would say, as a little boy, especially after his first Holy Communion, he never missed his daily appointment with the Holy Mass and the Rosary, followed by a moment of Eucharistic adoration. In school, he defended other kids against bullies. When one of his friend's parents were getting divorced, he made a special effort to include him in his own family life. I think he is the most relatable saint to us. He lived not too long ago and faced the same problems that we face today. Listening to stories about him makes me feel that's even possible for us to become saints. Also, he never missed Mass. How cool is that? I know, right? I'll try going for Mass every day now. Isn't this so much fun? We are learning about so many saints which we never ever heard of before. Look, there is another one here. Saint John Berkman's. Despite his strong opposition from his father and teachers, John joined the Jesuits. He had a deep love for being an altar server at Mass and died early with Roman fever. Ah, I love being an altar boy. It's so much fun serving Mass and at the end taking blessing from the priest. Yes! When Mass was online, I used to really miss serving Mass.